Hey everyone! Welcome back for the last episode of season two of My Hero Academia. Um, I, you know, I've just been thinking it over like the last few days and thinking about like how far we've come, you know. Um, some of those season one apps, um, it's just crazy to think about how in depth and some of the turns that they took um, with some of these characters. Um, you know, I think it would have been really easy with a show with so many characters like this one to kind of just have, and I think I've said this in the past, but to kind of just have like, oh, we have our main one or two, and then there's a couple in the background and like, you know, they're not really going to do very much. They're just sort of there, you know. Um, and it's just amazing how, um, without even really realizing it, the, the flow of the storytelling has been very natural, but we've gotten a spotlight on so many of those characters, like pretty much, I don't know if all of the characters from, um, all the students from class A have been like spotlighted, but so many of them, like so many more than you'd expect, you know, like, um, you know, at the beginning of season two, I barely knew who Todoroki was. And now he's like one of my favorite characters. And they had an arc with him and an arc with Ida. And, um, you know, so many characters. Momo just had her, her arc. Um, uh, I think her name's Uraraka. Her hero name's Uravity, and it's just easier for me to say that. It flows off the tongue a little bit more. But, like, she's one of my faves now, you know? Well, she's kind of been with us um, since the beginning of the of UA. Um, but, you know, it's just really cool to think that, um, you know, they took the time to flesh out all these characters. Um, so I've been really impressed with that. I've been so impressed with the heights that they've went to. Um, you know, we can have like a funny, just like, what is happening, goofy scene, you know. Um, and the next minute we can be touching on like very serious moral and political issues. And, you know, or we can be having like... Um, a great character moment where, you know, we're just watching someone be like in the in the depths of their despair, you know, and then the next minute, you know, they're laughing about, you know, peeping through the the girls <laughs> locker room or something, you know, just something crazy. Um, so I just really enjoyed it. Um, I'll kind of save my big long um, season two thoughts and feelings um, rant for the end. But I just wanted to start off by saying, you know, what a journey it's been. <laughs> and it's been a journey for me, too, because, you know, anyone who's been with me since the beginning and also, hi, thank you, those people who have been with me from the beginning. <laughs> um, you know, I um, kind of went through my own journey, too, on camera here because um, I was not used to being on camera when I first started these reactions. And if you go back to my very first reaction, you can see that I'm kind of like, Oh, uh, ha, ha, ha. You know, like, I'm very, like, guarded with all my reactions. And now I'm just, I just let it out. I talk through the theme. I rant at the end. You know, I'm not afraid to, like, ugly laugh or ugly cry on yeah. <laughs> camera. I just, you know, I'm very comfortable now. And um, so I want to just send out a big thanks to everyone who has been on this journey with me. And I hope you'll continue this journey with me because from what I'm reading in the comments, um, the best is really yet to come. Like season two was awesome. And uh, people are just like, season three is going to blow your mind. And I'm sure it will. So um, this is the last episode of the second season. I will be watching the movie. Um, details on that to come. Um, I do have some plans on like how I'm going, how it's going to be edited or, you know, maybe full length. You know, I don't want to say too much because as of right now, you know, as I'm filming this, I'm still planning on this. So I don't want to be like, hey, guess what's coming and, and before any of it's done. Um, but I do have some plans and good stuff around the corner. So stick with me. Stay tuned. Um, and, and then, you know, after the movie, I'll be jumping into season three. So at this rate, I, I'm pretty sure I'll be caught up. You know, if I keep it like two episodes a week, I'll be, I think, I don't know. I don't know how many is in season three, but, um, it looks like I might be on schedule to just, um, be caught up by season four, which I would be so pleased about. Oh my God. 
Um, so without further ado, I'm going to jump in. Oh, I didn't even talk about how much I love last week's episodes. Oh, oh well, you guys know that already. <laughs> um, so um, without further ado then, I think I'm just going to jump right in to the finale of season two of My Hero Academia. Let's do this. She's like a bizarro Sailor Moon. Is she a vampire? <laughs> like she's so surprised to hear that she's crazy. Uh, sense a little uh, hero envy here, or, but villain envy. I'm sorry, not hero. So, as a villain, I'm already like interested in the girl. <laughs> she is kind of like she looks like Sailor Moon. Am I wrong? She kind of has that style, like if Sailor Moon and Harley Quinn had a baby, and it was as crazy as Harley Quinn. The guy's interesting too, He's there's something going on there, like that's a mystery. And it's interesting to see um, the villain guy that we've been dealing with this whole time kind of start to lose it a little bit. Like he can't stand hearing about Stain, we know he had problems with Stain. Um, Interesting. There's uh, there's drama in the uh, in the villain world. They're up to no good. This is probably the last time they're gonna use that theme, huh? I just thought of that. Cause it's the end of the season. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. He's so happy. <laughs> the fact that he's so pleased is creeping me out. <laughs> Ida! Ida! Shopping spree! Come on, you know you're gonna see them in, in the bathing suit aisle. And it's summer, like it's perfect timing for this to be watching this. Ooh. Oh, he's doing it again. He's he's overthinking it. Buddy, you gotta you can't get overwhelmed in a mall. You've got so many choices. Well, well, well. Maybe these two will be shopping together. <laughs> oh, she got a little too shy. No, I wanted to see them shop together. They're so flipping cute. Oh, oh no. First of all, that's way too close for Fan to be getting. Second of all, oh please, please don't be that guy. It is, isn't it? It's the hand guy. <sighs> Ew, no, I, no, this is bad touch. This is bad touch. I don't like this. He needs an adult. Oh god, no. No, get away, run away, scream, scream help. He has one for all, he really doesn't need to scream help, but... Get to safety, go find a mall security guard. Did that say Wookiees? That's... Oh, this reminds me of Scream where they were... Dumb kids were getting the ghost face mask. This guy's insane. <sighs> of course, he's gonna 
protect the people first. He just doesn't get the concept of like ideals. Like even though stains were flawed, obviously. This guy just doesn't get it. Oh, she shouldn't have left him. I get it, cause you know, we've all been there. You're shy around your crush and all. Okay, first of all, stop lying to yourself. Oh, this guy's hearing some hard truth right now. No. Honey, I need you to float this mofo immediately. <sighs> oh my god, my heart is pounding. Oh, that was so tight. I really thought he was going to kill her. Oh my god. That's right, that's his friend, right? The cop? Oh, poor mama. Oh, the cat! Oh, His poor mom. Oh, he's with his mom! Oh my god! Oh, and we, we're right back to the beach where we started. Man, he's come so far. You guys know I can't take this without crying. <sighs> oh, so he's like on... He's got IVs and stuff. Oh, he's not in good shape, but he's alive. I mean, we knew that. Oh my god! That was so good. Um, so... Not what you'd expect from a uh, season finale in terms of like, oh, is there going to be like a big, great big cliffhanger? But definitely very good app and laid a lot of groundwork for what's coming next. Um, so that scene between Izuku and I think it's Shigaraki, if I'm saying that right, the, the hands guy, um, that was so... Tense, like for me, that was probably one of the most tense moments. Um, maybe not of the season, we've had a lot of tense moments this season, but that was an incredibly tense moment. Um, and it was interesting to see, you know, we get um, we get little glimpses of his personality here and there, like when we see him, but it's all kind of like in between his like dialogue that's sort of hard to you know it's it's like crazy person dialogue <laughs> um but it was really interesting to see um kind of his thought processes and just see him have a conversation with izuku you know no heated battle no anything they're just like having a conversation um so while that was going on it kind of occurred to me that he hates um, Stain and All Might and Izuku for having, like, conviction, and he kind of resolved to have his own conviction, but what occurred to me during all that was that, you know, him compared to Stain, Stain had this, um, sense of justice about, oh, heroes are corrupt, and we need to bring justice back to the hero world, and I feel like what Shigaraki, um, I feel like we got to see a little glimpse of his rationality of, you know, he just thinks the whole world lacks any justice, you know? Like, he was looking around thinking, like, 
you know, here are all these people with quirks in a mall and society just expects them to act like normal people, like they don't have quirks, like they're just not going to do something wrong. Um, and he just, uh, he kind of takes it to another level. He, you know, Stain um, felt that the idea of heroes had become like, had lost justice and he wanted to bring, you know, justice back to heroes and this guy just doesn't, he's just like, has no faith in humanity. And that's kind of where he, um, he kind of made up uh, his own conviction to, you know, he, he decided that All Might was the reason that um, people kind of had that hope and peace in their hearts that made them feel safe to go out and go into a crowded place, even when everyone has like superpowers and everything. Um... That interaction was so good, and that was so tense. And oh my god, then, oh, then Ravity shows up, and I'm, oh, I just didn't even know what was going to happen. Like, I didn't know, is she going to start kicking butt? Is she going to do, is she going to make a wrong move, and he's going to snap at her, snap at him, or start killing other people? Wow, that was good. Um, so, we definitely laid a little bit more groundwork for, um... The, the League of Villains, and I'm sure there's going to be some off-the-wall stuff coming with that in Season 3. Um, sprinkled a little bit more of the, uh, of the little budding romance between, um, between the two of our, uh, our little, our cute little couple here, Izuku and Ravity, and, um, I really like them. I, I'm really starting to ship them. I want to see that happen. Um... But man, she's gotta she's gotta stop lying to herself though. She knows you don't turn pink around a guy for no reason in anime. Like <laughs> if you're turning pink, <laughs> then something's up. Um, of course, she always kind of has a little pink, so that's a bad example. But she turns pinker. I don't know. I, I, I saw it change shades a little bit. Um, just. Again, like going back to what I said at the beginning of this episode, amazing how we can start an episode with like, yay, summer, going shopping, and like we found out everyone everyone was going to the training camp, like even the people who didn't win at their um their matchups, um, and then we can take it and just go very dark with it by the end of the episode, and that exchange between Izuku and All Might at the end was so sweet when he was like, I'm so glad you're okay, I'm sorry I couldn't save you, and I don't know why, maybe this is just me being paranoid, but I felt like at that moment, I got this feeling of like, oh my god, I'm gonna look back on this in season three, and I'm gonna cry. Like, it was a sweet moment, but I feel like there's going to be more to it later on. Like, All Might not being able to save people and, like, that whole concept. They kind of talked about that a little bit of, like, you know, has he ever not been able to save somebody? And um, I thought his answer was great that just, you know, not to get too cheesy with it, but if All Might is more than a hero, if he's... If he's, like, a something in your heart, if he's, like, a feeling of hope and peace, that saves people 24-7. Um, like, All Might, the person can't be everywhere, but All Might, the, the feeling, the symbol, can be, can be saving people all the time. Um, beautiful stuff. I mean, just really, really good writing, storytelling. Um, what else? So we kind of left it that, you know, yeah, we're high school kids. We're going off to have a summer training camp, but, but we know, like, we're, we're not just having fun. We're prepping. We know, like, a war is coming. Something's coming. And the League of Villains, they're stockpiling their, um, their people, too. Uh, curious to see more of the crazy Sailor Moon girl. Um, but, Wow. Just what a season. So, okay, so just, uh, I've already ranted a lot, so I'll just give you, you already know how I've been feeling about every episode so far, but I'll just give you a quick recap for me of season two. Season two was awesome. Um, season two took everything built up in season one and fleshed it out so much more. You know, we got, um, we got to see one for all. We got to see Izuku master that. 
Um, we got to meet All Might's mentor, and he trained Izuku. We had the sports festival. We had all the matchups here at the end. We had the whole arc with Todoroki. And, and by the way, awesome moment at the end that he was just like visiting his mom and hanging out. I cannot see those two together without getting so many feels now. Um, but yeah, we, um, it, it just took everything that I liked about season one and it just like blew it up for me in season two. Um, great stuff. Um, again, you know, I won't like dissect every single little thing because you guys have been with me through every episode and just like kind of heard what, I, what I've been feeling all along. But, um, so I feel like season one was establishing, season two was fleshing out. And from what I understand of what people are telling me in the comments, I have not read any spoilers, obviously, or anything about season three, but the way they've been building up and the way people have been telling me, um, that I'm going to react to season three... I feel like season three is where we're going to, like, bring it all to a head. <sighs> I'm excited. I'm scared. I'm pumped. I'm all of the above. Um, guys, thank you again for, for just joining me every week. Um, I look so forward to watching this show and just sharing it with you guys. Um, Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, please keep tuning in. Keep joining me. I do have some fun stuff coming up around the corner. I will get into that more soon. And next time you guys see me will be for the movie. I cannot wait. Um, so again, thank you. Um, what, a, what a long, strange <laughs> trip it's been. And I'm looking forward to so much more. Uh, so on that note, I'm going to wrap this up. Great season. Good stuff. Thank you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye!